Hey everybody, let's make it pop. It's another learning unit, insects and arthropods. Ooh, lots of creepy crawlies. This is Matthew Reinhardt. And we're gonna make another learning unit pop. These are really simple pops that you can do and you can learn a little about all different kinds of subjects. This one's about um, arthropods and insects and the insect in particular. We're gonna make a fiddler crab pop up. Ooh, isn't that cool? So let's learn a little about fiddler crabs. You know, even though our pop-up is pretty big, fiddler crabs are really actually pretty small and the largest ones are only about two inches across. So that's that's kind of about as big as a roll of tape, big across it. So that, those are pretty small crabs, right? Now crabs shed their shells as they grow and can develop new limbs if they lose an arm or a leg. So a crab, when it's time to molt, um, they'll shed the shell and they will be able to grow a new limb even if one falls off or is taken off in battle or, or if a hungry predator comes along and eats it. Male fiddler crabs have one claw that is much, much larger than its other, but female fiddler crabs do not have those. Uh, the males like to show off, right? All right, so let's get started on making our fiddler crab pop. First, what you're going to need to do is you're going to download the templates below, print them out onto some cardstock, 110 pound cardstock, any color you want. Um, but cardstock works the best, be way better than using paper, regular paper. You're going to see that there are two different types of lines on these um, templates. There's uh, black solid lines and there are also dotted uh, black lines. Now we're going to first use those dotted black lines. Those are what are called fold lines. Those are going to, be, we're going to score them. We're going to use a, a ruler and a big paper clip. And we're just going to, we're going to line up our ruler along the, um, each one of these dotted lines. And then we're going to press down with the edge of our big paper clip. And that's going to make it easier to fold along all those lines so our pop-up works right. Next, let's get the cuttings. Well, we're going to follow all those black solid lines. We're going to follow the black solid lines with our scissors and cut out all the pieces. There's a base page and there's some pop-up pieces that we all need to cut out. And if there's a lot of extra paper left over, be sure to leave that for your scrap pile so you can make other things later on. Don't I like to reuse as much of my scrap paper as I can so I have all these um, bins filled with it. You know, We want to use all the paper we can, right? After you've cut out all the pieces to your pop-up, make sure that you fold them like this. So we're just going to pre-fold everything, and it's going to be way easier to fold them because we've got we've got all these um, scored lines, right? Look how easy that is to fold. It's all ready for it. We fold that piece. Let's fold this um, major body piece here. We're going to do these tabs just like that, the center, and then we're going to fold along that tab. And then this little V area here, that's actually going to push in. And now it's time to glue it on. Let's use some regular craft glue. You can use Elmer's glue. You can use anything like a little a white glue. You could even use a um, glue stick if you wanted. Uh, and so we're going to glue. See these big tab areas, these big gray areas? We're going to fill that with craft glue, just like that. We're going to paint it right in there. You're going to see those two tabs actually fit the shapes exactly. And when you glue down these tabs, see, you're going to fit it, and you're going to make sure that the center is lined, center of that, see that center line on our crab piece? You're going to line that up exactly with the center of the base page. See how that lines up in the center? See that? It goes right along the center. And you're going to press down and make sure it's flat. Now, the pop-up pieces will eventually move upwards. See how they fold? But we want to glue it so that all the piece is flat. Make sure you don't get any extra glue on there either. Now let's glue this tab on. You're going to see, see that little um, rectangular piece? Well, it's actually a trapezoidal piece. And this little round half circle tab, that's going to fold under. And you can see on the gray there, that, that, that thick, that is the exact same shape of those tabs. So let's put some glue on the circular bit right there in this gray area here. We're going to fold this down. It goes just right there. And and now that that tab is glued into place, you'll see that this tab on, just folds right under and it fits exactly in the gray area on the crab, fiddler crab's body. See, right there. Just put a little glue. Let's just, let's just put a little glue right on in there. Oh, that's so nice. Keep it in lines. Keep it in line, fold it under and put it in place. Make sure everything is kind of flat. You're building it flat. 
A lot of times we build pop-ups flat so that they move more. If they're, 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 this one will really move the full extent, its full uh, range of motion. Now we're gonna put on the, the, the different pincers. Okay, here's the little one. See this little uh, gray triangle? We're gonna just put some glue in there and this little pincer will go right in place going kind of upwards. See how it's pointing sort of upwards towards the eyeball? That's the little pincer. Now let's put the big, big one on. So see this little area here? You're gonna see it fits right there. It fits the shape. Look, look at that. That's our shape that we follow. We're just gonna put some glue on this other side, just within that little gray area. It's important that you don't get any glue every, anywhere else. We're just gonna glue it right into place, just like that. Let it dry for a bit. And let's see how this pop-up works. Let's see. Ooh, that's nice. Ooh, that's nice. That's how it should close. And that's how it opens. Look, there's our pop-up fiddler crab. Ooh. Now you can decorate it and uh, put some color on it. You can write whatever you want about fiddler crabs, a little story about fiddler crabs if you want. But now you've made your very own fiddler crab pop for this very cool arthropods and insects learning unit here with me, Matthew Reinhardt. Hey, if you like this video, be sure to hit like and subscribe. If you want to see more, be sure to hit the bell and then you'll be notified every time a new video comes out. Um, I've really enjoyed making this pop-up with you and, and I really love learning about all these different creatures in our insects and arthropods unit. We've got more learning units coming up. Hey, this is Matthew Reinhardt saying, let's make it pop and I'll see you next time. Bye everyone.